you're about to see a jumbo jet take a dip in a little pond. It's called a water spray test. One of the many requirements the new Boeing 747-8 freighter must plow through on the road to certification. So we do the water spray test so that we can tell whether or not if an airplane's going through uh, standing water, whether water actually gets ingested into the engines because that would be bad. To conduct the test, the Boeing team builds a temporary pool in the middle of a runway and fills it with water. Lots of water. Meanwhile, technicians paint sections of the airplane pink. And we painted from just behind. Nick Baker, the, uh, one of the engineers who planned the test, explains the substance is pink dye mixed with a mild cleanser. It comes right off when sprayed with water. So that when we run through the trough and the water hits it, we can tell uh, where the water has hit the body. While the requirement is to test the engines, engineers also track what happens to the underbelly of the fuselage, just to soak up more knowledge. We don't want uh, possible water ingestion. We don't want it going into the ports and clogging them. The pilots maneuver the 747-8 freighter down the runway, making sure to line the plane up just right. At about 30 knots, it's time for a big splash. And actually being that close to the taxiway, when you have an airplane coming right past you and just spraying up that much water is awesome. The test is repeated at 40 knots, and then faster still at 50 knots. We have to go through and demonstrate that uh, in all these different circumstances that the aircraft is uh, safe and flight worthy. Consider a big spreadsheet, we're just going through and checking off that uh, the aircraft behaves as it's supposed to.